Flutter Flow 4.0 has just been announced. We're gonna go through all the new changes, the key features, and why this is the best time to get started if you're just getting started with Flutter Flow. So let's begin with all of the changes and then we'll come back to the video. So with the announcement, what do we have in store? Number one, visual branching. Two, automated testing. Three, Flutter Flow Marketplace. Four, Cloud Functions. Five, Screenshot Generator. Six, Flutter Flow for iPad. So let's get right into it. We're gonna go step by step and what this means. So the first one is let's look at Flutter Flow Marketplaces. Flutter Flow Marketplace is perfect if you're looking to buy or sell different applications. This is perfect for a template that you're looking for. And it might have different functionality or components that you want, such as the health and fitness app. Instead of starting from scratch, you can just buy it right there. Now, that allows you to speed up the process of building out your application and then being able to tweak a few things. But also, if you're a builder and you're looking for another stream of revenue, instead of just having an agency model where you're constantly working with clients, you could have a very lucrative revenue stream just doing templates or part of your business by selling templates right there in the marketplace for Flutter Flow. After that, we're looking at the next thing that we have, which is branching. Now, this will allow you to do visual branching. This is really good because if you're planning to have very specific um, uh, progressions through your application that you need to edit and then make changes, you're going to be able to do that with branching. We see this with actions right here where it's breaking down what's going to be happening uh, when a button is clicked, right? So the branching is action one, back end call, action two, navigate back, action three, show snack bar. Now, once you have that, that's going to allow you to merge and really take over the branching and decide how you're going to change the branching uh, that you're looking for. You will have multiple options when you decide to have that branching. You can resolve the conflict, but when you have this, you're going to be able to accept the demo, um, accept main, or resolve manually. So it gives you a lot of a lot of options when you're going to be doing that uh, with branching, and it will also support uh, specific working branches on Git as well. Next up, we're going to be looking at automated testing. This is crucial because now you're going to not you're, you're not going to have to worry about uh, manually testing the code, right? You're going to be able to visually be able to craft the exact thing you want it to do in the Flutter test, and then you're going to see the code when it's being carried out, and it's very simplistic as you're going through this. So you can automatically generate the test code. You're going to see it actually do the action, and then when it's done, you're going to see if it passed the test. So all of your testing, you're going to be able to do it right there in Flutter Flow. Next, we're looking at cloud functions. If you're going to be looking to add like custom JavaScript or other things with Flutter Flow, you're going to be able to do this. So it mentions test and deploy cloud functions directly within Flutter Flow. Pass, uh, uh, yeah, pass arguments and handle responses using data types. Say goodbye to tedious JSON translations. So you're going to be able to deploy right there, deploy the cloud function, have it right there in your application. Now, if you look at that, the action, you're going to have the cloud function right here. And then you're going to, we have an if then, right? If it's true, false, what it's going to be doing um, right there in your application that you have. So I would say as you're looking at this, this is really exciting for cloud functions. Write down, do you need this at this time? What's going on with your team? What are you looking forward to doing uh, with cloud function? Is this uh, a function that you need right now? Or perhaps when you're scaling and you need to be uh, doing cloud functions in the future, you're going to be able to do this. I think about this might be really impactful if you're using something like Rowy.io on top of uh, you know your database and you're going to be doing a lot of um, cloud functions and things like that. That might be something now you can be doing in Flutterflow as well. Um, let me know in the comment section if you're using Rowy.io or something else integrated on top of the back end as well. Next up, we're going to be looking at the Flutterflow iPad. Um, this is really important because you're going to have the application 
on iPad. So the Flutterflow application will be on iPad. So if you have someone on your team that will be visually uh, building out the app, like the front end, and they're just used to using Procreate or other things, this is a great option that you can be doing. Also too, while you're testing your application, you're gonna be able to spin up the application, test it out with all of the different functionality, the UI UX, be able to test out the different, um, uh, really the touch aspect of it, what you're going to be doing as you're swiping, how you're navigating the application, how does it look and feel, that's going to be excellent as well. Next up, we're going to be looking at screenshot generation. Now, this is really good if you're you're needing a uh, screenshot generator instead of just doing a like a screenshot that you're just doing of your um, of your monitor. You're going to be able to do this and have very specific screenshots that you can include. If you're going to the Google Play Store, if you're going to do um, the you know the Apple Store, whatever you want. You're going to have this right here for, for all of your needs. You can download the different pages. You can select what page you want and get started right away. In the comments section down below, what are you most looking forward to? A lot of people online I'm seeing that are really interested with the new Flutterflow app where you can be on iPad. What are you interested in? What are you going to be starting to build? And if you're just getting started with Flutterflow, there's going to be a link, a video right here or here or somewhere where you can get started with Flutterflow for complete beginners right now. And down below, there's a link to a free guide as you go through the tutorial.